You know, you go all across this country looking for people, you know, just having a good time, finding some musicians that sometimes just really rock your world. And I came across this one cat. Oh, man, his brother was all right, you know. Damn, he had paid his dues. You know the kind, man. Like, like tell me, Otis, 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 Mr. Otis. You can call me Little Otis. That's right, Little Otis. Tell me something, man. You played with everybody. I played with every motherfucker out there. And it wasn't shit. Brothers wasn't shit. Couldn't play a goddamn tune in the hand if they were sitting up there looking at God right in the eye. Wasn't shit. Well, who exactly did you play with? All kinds of brothers. Breezy brothers, big brothers, dumb brothers, musicians, every kind, shape, and color you can imagine. Before I really reamed up on another thing, I was playing with brothers that didn't have no fingers. You used to play tough without no fingers, brother, could just blow. Have big ass lips, could just wrap them all around the ball, boo, 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 woo, and have a good time, but it wasn't shit. Wasn't shit, wasn't the supreme thing. That's what I was looking for, supreme kind of thing. I was looking, you know. You look high and low, and then you find some old hoe. What are you gonna say? It's just like that. Well, Mr. Otis, little Otis, that's what you gotta call me. Little, small, pequeño. I spent time with some Puerto Ricans up there in New York. All oh, they were a bunch of fun, small old motherfuckers, but they were fun. Could bang them tambourines, not drums all over. Met some guy, what the hell was it? Nesto, Nesto, Nernesto, Smank against him. Puente, that was it. Tito, Tits, that's what we called him, Tits. He wasn't shit. I mean, he could bang a drum, but God damn, he was so unbelievably rude. Talking nonsense to you, talking about bebop, rebop, and debop, bebop. What the hell is a small goddamn Puerto Rican talking bebop to me? He wasn't shit. But I loved him like the brother I never had and never wanted. You know, I met a bunch of other ones. Met some Cubanos, Cubans, Tampanos, whatever the hell they want to call them. Machito, now there was a man who could swing, had more teeth than jaws, could bite a rumba and have. I liked hanging out with him, but it was loud, greasy, too much like George and Wheezy. Felt sometimes like James Brown singing, please, please, please me. Well, what are you going to do? You're born naked, you live a long life, and you die alone with your shoes off cause life when you come right down to it well it's a dirty low down shame that shouldn't happen to a dog and I have been barking at this old life like an old flea ass dog that's right cause it wasn't shit now when I get up in heaven I'm gonna talk to God and tell him straight up what the hell was that all about man you sent me so many strange things Jesus H. Christ and the 18th for holy. I wasn't shit. Well, Mr. Otis, you know, we're getting about to the end of this interview. Well, good. I gotta go get me a drink. Tell me something, Mr. Otis. If you had anything to say to the young musicians of today, to those young artists that are looking for some guidance, what from your vast experience would you say is your most significant thought? Well, the whole damn thing, it wasn't shit!